Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Though in Salem, fascinating is rarely good news. It appears that things are going to get interesting for Stephanie and Chad on Days of Our Lives shortly. First of all, Chad has been trembling at the idea of officially breaking up with Steph since he hasn't been able to let go of Abigail. And now that spoilers have surfaced, we know that Stephanie is about to receive a blast from the past at her door. Even if we don't yet know how, there's a strong chance it will cause ripples for her and Chad. But who could actually carry out such an action? What if the new guy Everett is someone that viewers are much more familiar with? We know from the huge season teaser that he has some connection to Steph. Because Stephanie, you see, has a longtime Salem resident as an ex-boyfriend named Darren Brooks Max Brady, who has been mostly occupied elsewhere for years, but is suddenly rather free. Although Brooks recently disclosed that he has been off days of our lives and bold and beautiful tapes for months, that doesn't mean they couldn't have worked something out such that his comeback was imminent. Ultimately, Wyatt's appearance on the CBS soap opera has been limited to a few episodes here and there for a very long time. There are so many components that would come together perfectly if Max came back. While working the von Leishner family for Dimitri's inheritance, Gwen is away in Europe. Even if Frankie gave up on inheriting the riches, he would still be aware of what is happening. He might bring it up to his younger brother Max, and between that and Chelsea's visit, Max might decide it's time to visit Salem again. If he was being completely honest, a portion of his homecoming would undoubtedly involve a need to pay a visit to his former girlfriend Stephanie, whom he dated just before getting back together with Chelsea. In the past, Shelley Hennig played Steph, and he might run into Chad there. Though they never truly interacted, the two very briefly overlapped in Salem. Nonetheless, Abigail is someone they both have in common. Yes, Max may mention that Chad was wed to Abigail. What happened to her is really tragic. Max had a brief affair with Abby prior to Stephanie, and him starting a romantic relationship, which shocked Abby's relatives who believed he was too old for her. Chad may relive even more heartbreaking memories of Abby's past by listening to Max reminisce about their early years together, hear stories about Abby as a child, and take a stroll down memory lane. It wouldn't take much to drive him away from Stephanie, and this might be the catalyst that pushes him over the line and causes him to end the relationship altogether. He simply doesn't seem prepared to let go. At that point, Max might lend Steph his shoulder as he confides in her about the issues he and Chelsea have been facing. Yes, when Chelsea came to town for Victor's funeral, she was all smiles about their relationship, but that doesn't imply Max feels the same way. He would acknowledge that his relationship with Chelsea isn't all that great and that he was merely searching for a reason to leave. They believed that having a child would help, but even though Chelsea is content, he isn't. It's clear that Chad and Stephanie are not meant to be together, and it's likely that she will return to Alex. But there's the genius of having Max in to change that and bring this legendary couple back together. How do you feel? Is Max returning at this time? Do you think Darren Brooks should return to Days of Our Lives? Fans of the Lani were in for a major treat this summer on Days of Our Lives, when Eli and Lainey returned to Salem to bid farewell to, and ultimately save, Abe. Although Lem and Archie had returned previously following Ellie's departure, this was the first time we had seen Saul Stowers return to the screen since Lani was sentenced to prison the previous year but now might be the last chance we get to see her. While we are thrilled that Stowers is following her aspirations, we are concerned about Lani's potential future after seeing her life and job update on Instagram. Stowers opened the video with, I know it's been a minute. I go on vacation, I return, but here I am. That sounds a lot like Lani, even though the actress was talking to her absence from social media. Talk about what I'm going through at the moment. In order to obtain her certification as a life coach, she is presently enrolled in school. She expressed her gratitude for the opportunity and the trip she has been on. I now know so much more about who I am. 
I learned so much about life coaching, its benefits, and how I may apply its knowledge and resources to assist change the lives of others. It's simply been the most amazing experience. Although Lanny's attempt to free Avi from Nurse Whitley's grasp was last seen on television in July, those scenes were actually shot earlier in the year due to days of our live filming schedule. It appears that she has been concentrating on coaching schools ever since. She said, A lot of you who have been following me for a long time know that I'm really enthusiastic about being able to help the community and throw light on someone else's life. Having had life coaching herself, she says, There is really no finer feeling than being here right now, working with people and seeing them reach their full potential. It is really fulfilling. Although Stower's final exam isn't until next week, she won't be finished with the school just yet. After that, she plans to start taking clients. She added that she isn't finished even after that. I intend to pursue more studies. To me, that is the main purpose of existence. Life is a voyage of learning. Learning maintains your youth. Given Stower's enthusiasm for this new path, her commitment to further study, and the news that she will soon be accepting clients for coaching, it doesn't seem likely that Lani will be returning to our screens very soon. Never say never, of course, but for the time being, we may have to accept that neither Lenny nor Stowers may go back to Salem, even if they are eventually allowed to leave prison. Tuesday, October 24 days of our live spoilers suggest that viewers should anticipate the unexpected. While one character discovers something unexpected and another encounters a fresh peril, two others keep trying all in their power to get out of their current situation. What type of drama is scheduled for Tuesday in Salem? It's time to get started and learn. According to the DOL teaser for Tuesday, October 24, Leo Stark and Dimitri von Leishner will stop at nothing to elude the police. After stepping over numerous boundaries to free Dimitri from police custody, what comes next? It's noteworthy to note that the New Day's winter preview video features both Dimitri and Leo so it will be interesting to watch how they manage to get out of this mess. DOL spoilers for Tuesday, October 24, suggest that Kate Roberts will be taken aback by some news across town. It appears that Kate will be taken aback when Harris Michaels tells her about his new position as a police officer at the Salem Police Department. But given Mr. Michaels' background, expertise, and recent transformation, is this really so shocking? Nevertheless, Kate might be taken aback because she has knowledge that Harris and perhaps even the audience lack. Watchers will have to stay tuned for additional information. Speaking of, DOL teasers for Tuesday's episode indicate that Ada Vitali, Harris's love interest, will confront a fresh danger. Clyde Weston has already pulled her into Salem's drug ring. So what happens next? Ava will probably have to contend with competition from Clyde's pharmaceutical company. Can she accomplish this while ensuring her own safety? Are you looking forward to the DOL show on Tuesday? Post your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.